everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Naomi the traveling himba and if you're not thank you for coming back so today as you can see I am in a train because I am headed to a really exciting destination and I can't wait to share it with you guys I'm so so excited our train is literally empty. We have a screaming toddler. So we just arrived at our destination now. We just got off the train. And now we are headed to our accommodation. Not far from the train station. That's the train that we took. It's a double-decker train it's a regional train so yeah I can't wait to explore this place beautiful sunset time here in this beautiful cute town of Wittenberg Wow, guys, I'm so in love already with this town. It's so cute, so, so pretty. Oh, I just can't wait tomorrow to come so I can explore this place. The streets are empty, the streets are clean, beautiful buildings. It's just unreal. <laughs> When I see such cute little towns, I feel like I'm in a movie set. Like somebody's gonna tell you, hello, wake up, this is just a set. <laughs> because it's so pretty. Guys, am I exaggerating? This place is out of this world, seriously. Oh my God. And right here, this beautiful square, that's our accommodation. I can't wait to go in and relax, freshen up and go for dinner. How gorgeous is this place, guys? So today we are exploring a beautiful town called Wittenberg. Wittenberg is a university town in the eastern part of Germany, which is closely linked to Martin luther i bet many of you heard of that name before martin luther so before i get started into the whole story about martin luther and all that i just want to take you guys to this beautiful uh, gothic uh, church so that is the all saints church the famous church where martin luther nailed his 95 theses on the door so we are headed there to take a look a closer look at the church and we'll have a little talk about martin luther's 95 theses so let's go guys the town is so gorgeous it's 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 just a perfect size to walk around it's super super neat all cute things at the right places it's so clean it's such a beautiful beautiful town this is one of the must-see places seriously when you do visit germany come to wittenberg it's not so far from berlin so it's worth seeing The beautiful All Saints Church. This door that you are seeing in front is a very, very special, important church door in the history of Martin Luther. Well, like not exactly this specific one because the original door, which was a wooden door, 
got damaged when the church burned many many years ago and it got replaced with a bronze door and as you all can see there are writings on this door i'm gonna talk about these writings on this door so the writings or the engravings on that door are actually the 95 theses that martin luther wrote in the year 1517 where he was objecting some of the teachings and practices of the church which is now the uh, known as the roman catholic church so martin luther was objecting some of the teachings of the church and one of them was the practice of indulgence where people had to pay for forgiveness of sins and martin luther being a monk and a christian scholar of course he spent his time in the monastery studying the bible and he realized that this is nowhere written in the bible so he was objecting this and of course he was asked to renounce these writings but he didn't and this led to his excommunication by the then pope as well as the roman emperor so he was uh, supposed to go to Rome to be prosecuted and possibly executed and some of the leaders in Germany by that time they protested this so this is when the Protestant Church started or the reformation of the church so the church was no more now one church it divided and then the development of the Lutheran Church started so yeah that's a little bit of martin luther so i say he must have been a brave man you know uh standing up against such a powerful then uh, authority which was really big at that time and he lived here in this town wittenberg and later in his life became a, a university professor and he also married so he was no more a monk and he married an ex-nun as well <laughs> so yeah that's a bit about him i hope we picked one or two things from that little history lesson <laughs> the irony is in high school i actually didn't like history and i cut it off for my last two years of high school and now here I am interested in so much history and I find it so fascinating. I guess it all depends on who's your teacher <laughs> or who were you then as a student. So now we are headed to the former house of Martin Luther where he lived and it is now converted to a museum. And there behind you there, one can still see the tower of the All Saints Church. Beautiful. Oh, the town looks so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Everything is just in its right place. There's a stream, small stream of water, canal, natural water. Just imagine a Christmas market in these streets. It will be so pretty. Indian restaurant. Taj Mahal. Mm, now I'm already thinking about dinner. <laughs> and more pretty, pretty flowers. So beautifully Boots, you know, everything is just the right spot.
is the main square of Wittenberg. So I am now at the main square of Wittenberg. Uh, it's a really, really pretty square. This is where you find the, the city's church, which is called the Stadtkirche. Uh, it's also beautiful. It actually reminds me of uh, Prague. It has these two towers that really looks like a church in Prague. Let me show you guys. ocean is this guys and here is Africa Namibia would be right down there the main square is so beautiful So I'm taking a quick rest before I get into Luther's house. It's right behind me, that house, that castle, his house is in that castle. That's where Luther lived. Uh, when he was a monk, it was a monastery, he lived there. And also afterwards, uh, after the reformation of the church, it was given to him as his home inside, uh, the house is inside the castle, not the whole castle. Uh, he lived there with his wife uh, and he also had kids. So that's where he lived. So we're gonna check that out. Before we go there, let me just take a quick rest. So, the house in front of us, that is the house where Martin Luther lived first as a monk because by then it was a monastery and then afterwards, after all the whole reformation and whatever time, he was offered this house to live here with his family, his wife Katarina and their children. So this part here that's coming up, this front part was only later, was only constructed later, it wasn't there. This is all new, that front part. So this is the house that they lived in. And in front here, we have the statue of his wife, Katarina. Katarina was also a nun before. So we're entering the Luther House Museum now. This room, 500 years ago, used to be Martin Luther's living room. It got restored, but all 
wall with original furnitures from their time. This used to be their debate room. And this is the pictures of Martin Luther and his wife Katarina. So guys, I hope you enjoyed exploring Wittenberg with me. I had so much fun. I really enjoyed discovering uh, and learning uh, a lot about this town. Uh, it's such a beautiful place. It's not so big. It's so beautiful. It's so easy on the eyes. Everywhere you look, it's just so pretty. So that's it for me today. I hope you had so much fun like I did. Till next time. That's it from me guys today. Ciao! <laughs>